steps subsequently so that so when are you activate that uh, trial account then here sap fiori if you see on the right side I by see. default sap fiori you are selecting for developing fiori apps we use these tools if you scroll down no no just uh, on the right side yeah if you scroll down here you see basic tools etc so some check boxes are not there if you want to do some cds uh, graph modeling etc uh, you have you can select additional add ons as well so java tools uh, development tools etc so right now these basic tools are sufficient if at all you want to do some extension of a standard sap fiori apps so then you have to use this business application studio extensions developer tool extension etc so if you see on the right side there are like two rows right first column and second column so hana calculation those check boxes are not checked if you see on the right you are able to see the check box ah oh, yes sir not there <laughs> here uh, workflow management is there right so if you see the check box so if you tick with that box just tick with that box yes if you tick that box these add on also will be added by default do not add all the add ons when are you wanted to do those tasks then only you have to enable it why because if you install too many add ons uh, all add ons will be uh, running on the background and it will slow down your business application studio in general okay so for us all oh, the basic add ons are sufficient but when are you need additional add ons this is a place where you have to uh, select your tick box okay no unselect that so so the business app studio for full stack development so for now i mentioned uh, uh, full stack development also we can do right so if you select a second option left side in so sap fiori if you select a full stack all the required plugins etc will be automatically installed so there is one more option called mdk i said right if you want to build native applications just scroll down so this is mobile application so if you select sap mobile application that is native no no no, no. select uh, uh, mobile application you have been selected mobile Yeah. Now this is uh, for meant for building your uh, uh, specific to your iOS and native applications. See the way we build applications are same. That doesn't change. Only here the tools which we select to build only differs. If you select the right tools, you will be able to uh, uh, design the right application. So that is the only difference. So if you want to do uh, O data backend development etc. Also, then you have to select full stack development. If you want to do only the front end part, you can just select as a PPT. Clear? Okay. So just Please now know. for us, Fiori, correct. Give it a name on the dev space name uh, on the top. Give it as some Fiori, uh, Fiori or Fiori development, etc. Anything you can give. Okay, Fiori dev. Yeah, fine. So now click on create dev space. So this is just one time activity, and uh, here max uh, for the trial account only two dev spaces you can create, and it doesn't allow you to run simultaneously. Also, if you have to run any instance, you have to stop one and you have to start again. If you see the here, three options are there. So this is this uh, on the uh, right extreme right. There is a record button, right? So that is a stop and start. So when are you are launching Business App Studio, it you have to start this service. Then only here it it showing a starting, right? It has to show as running the orange color text. So once it shows as running, then your uh, extensions etc are loaded. Okay. So you then you can click on once this shows as running, you can click on that uh, uh, Fiori Dev uh, text is there, right? So Fiori Dev, you can click on that uh, hyperlink. It will become a hyperlink. Once this shows as running, then you have to click on that. Then it will launch your uh, business studio. This is one time activity. Only for the first time we'll do. Miss, I I need to click on this, sir. No, it is already started. You don't do anything. If you click on it, it will stop it. Okay, now it's now installing the add-ons. Wait for a couple of minutes. So for that to activate, so we selected sir. some add-on. It is getting installed. No, no, sir. Will they charge for this or? No, it's no, free? no. It's free, 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 free. Don't worry. <laughs> no where you have given your uh, credit card details. Okay. Sir, last time in college, what happened is they asked us to use AWS account. Yeah, AWS is uh, chargeable. Sir, only for thirty days. It was free trial. Then they started deducting the amount. Correct, correct. The <laughs> but they'll inform up front. But in SAP, there is no such. Uh, AWS, they are giving one year free trial account access, but. Uh, It is not charged now. Yeah, you can click. It's running, right? It shows as running. No, no. You, it's you. If you see that Fiori Dev, it's got highlighted in blue color. No, no. Fiori Dev uh, text hyperlink. Not that. Not that. Fiori, yeah. Click on that. Yes, yes. If you click on that, it will launch your web ID. Okay. When are every day when you're starting? You have to click on that start button, then click on that Fiori Dev. Then it will launch your uh, Business App Studio. Okay. This is cloud tool. So this is uh, per subscription. Up to 360 days, you are free to use this tool. Okay. Okay. So here, uh, yes. If yes. I want, if yeah. I want to extend, then uh, again we have to pay and we have to use. Or uh, yes, you can create new to... email ID and you can uh, use new mobile number. So each mobile number and email ID only one instance they allow. Okay. If you have one more email ID and one more uh, phone number, 
you can create one more fresh account and that we can you can, you can use it for 365 days as on date that is how sap has given trial access i'm not sure from time to time if it changes okay. okay but it is free of cost nobody is going to charge anything you can freely use so on the welcome you can close this this shows that uh, what are the latest updates you can click on that start template start from template is optionized right, right? see the beauty of this is all are you do not to uh, manage anything all the tools plugins everything will be managed by sap so you'll not find any issue now you got uh, directly uh, your required uh, template etc you are facing issue in your local but here see it, now you can to select sap fury application um the uh, third one yes yes so you can click on start and then uh, you can select uh, instead of fury elements you have select freestyle drop down yes freestyle so here you select uh, SAP of application, the third one. And it is same. If you see, if you notice on the local, what we are doing and on the cloud, what we are doing are both the same. Okay. There is no difference at all. It's just a name that is up to studio. Okay. You can continue the rest of the steps here and okay. uh, it should work for you. And okay, it's the same. Clear? Okay, sir. Okay. Any other questions? So, uh, Ramana, the uh, files that you create here in this business application studio, can we bring that to the local? Yes, yes, we can bring that um, as well. So one way is if you see on the left here, it's clone repository it shows. So one okay. easiest way is we can uh, link our GitHub here as well. So in here we need not okay. install that SCM. So here if you install uh, clone repository, uh, you, if you click on that, you, you, you can give our GitHub uh, URL. So okay. directly that GitHub you can use in your local and you can use it in here mm -hmm. also as well. So at the same time you can use uh, both on local and here. Okay. Correct. So GitHub gives that flexibility. So we are hosting in the some third party location and nice which are ID we are comfortable. We'll use there. We'll always publish our code. We'll always use that uh, uh, pull that code. And and we can run the code directly from here itself. Yes, 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 yes. If it's perfectly everything we can do. So it's uh, now you, you, if you create complete this project, you, I'll just show you that you can just select next. Omkar. Oh. Select SCPF and just select uh, next. So you just you can select uh, select none. Uh, right now, uh, if OData service, if you have to specify, you have to uh, do specify here. So we haven't done the destination part, so let's not complicate. You can select none for now. Next. Yes, next. Yeah, next. You can keep a view name your uh, now model MVC we talked right. So in that now it is creating the view now. So view name what name you want to give it as in yes you can retain the default name as view one. Then click on next. So this is uh, it is creating now if you see remember this wizard is creating as that folder structure called MVC. So that is the beauty of this wizard. Just uh, go to the top. No no just go to the top. So here you can project one it's there right. You can re uh, retain that name. But whenever you're giving make sure you uh, give in small cases. This is your unique ID. Each application, this module name should be unique. So you can call, write as first app. Application title, sir. Or no, no, module name. name. See, if that's oh. asterisk star is there, right? Red color. That is mandatory field. Rest all, if you don't write, also it's fine. But what I'm trying to say is that module name should be unique. For uh, see if you're creating one more project, don't uh, keep the same name. Okay. It should be always unique. That is, we also call it as query ID. Okay. So namespace also you have to remember. Uh, what are names you are giving? Uh, you stick with any name if you are stick uh, so UX or dev or something. For all applications, try to use the same uh, namespace. I'll tell you the importance of namespace later, but for now you stick to whatever name you are comfortable. UI, sir. Yes, yes, UI. You can give UI. All or none. Yes, yes, all none. Yeah, just click on finish. So it's installing. So let's wait for some time. So once it's installed, you should be able to see that project on your uh, website. Okay. So just click on that open folder. No, no, that alerts. Yes, yes, that open folder. Correct. So here you can select your name. Now, if you should see here, scroll down, you should see. Uh, okay, go to projects. Projects. No, in this only. No, no, no. no. There's a folder called projects. Nice. Yes, click on that. Here, select your application. You, you again module in first step, right? So select that. Click on open. 
so whenever we are creating uh, you know uh, project they will all uh, uh, be added in the project node okay because this is a, this is uh, creating uh, you know uh, in the uh, directory within the or instance which we created uh, what we call the cloud foundry we create instance so there it is creating the folder structure as now here your app application side you can just open that web app and uh, in the view we can uh, open it expand the view and uh, click on view one and just write some text so you can close that content uh, content tag you can just closing tag is there right so just uh, add one closing tag so remove that slash and uh, remove that content and uh, add one closing tag as well <coughs> yes uh, yeah, you can put uh, directly text text type text with as property <coughs> yes text text not type text again text only type equal to text. not type it is text only txt yes 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 here you can type uh, uh, ufa or something some what on text you want to give okay. yeah just save this so so this is ready now you can click on that uh, you know web app folder yeah right click that right click it and click on preview application uh, click on the first one start now this should actually run our application in the browser automatically and it should show our output so this is a way we use in business App studio right you got your out clear yes, sir. Yes, sir. so we are able to run our first application successfully the same steps so what are your uh, we are doing locally everything we can do it here and uh, this is how we have to uh, we'll use uh, business App studio clear Ramana, which is the preferred method? Is it uh, using Business Application Studio or local? Yeah, see now as of now, uh, uh, Business App Studio is uh, not yet matured enough because why I say is it just launched three months back. Okay, so at least six months time it will take. Uh, uh, right now, most of the customers. So if we are working for any client, Business App Studio is a go-to tool in 2021. Okay. Uh, SAP new licenses anybody if you are purchasing it is providing only business App studio and there is no we, we are local development is just for our uh, you know for our usage for our personal usage we have assisted but we are not going to use uh, uh, those approach we use only business App studio for our actual practical developments mm -hmm. okay, okay. Yeah. so web ID is still being used while use like uh, how uh, ecc is being uh, available so web ID, people who purchase two three years back license so web ID is another tool so that was uh, predecessor to this particular tool now business App studio is a latest tool so prior to this there was uh, sap web ID. so most of the customers are still using web ID. so web ID is also we can use if you are in a client place say so, uh, no matter the tool the steps will be slightly they differ in uh, in terms of uh, minor changes but uh, their objective is the same so they enable us to install some add-ons and they'll allow us to build applications easily okay got it yeah so idea why uh, sap more to this is web ID is in-house product whereas web uh, this sap sap business App studio is microsoft product so this uh, supports all programming languages so sap can focus its uh, energy in uh, building uh, you know um, it's solutions rather than focusing on building the id itself so previously what happened is web id it had to any new feature it has to give for id id was not supporting all programming languages and he had to work on and it is uh, it was delaying this whole uh, uh, object of uh, simplifying the uh, developer tools etc now when it moved to business App studio advantages by default, microsoft product it is supporting angular js etc all other libraries so if it has to allow uh, open source development now business application studio allows if sap has to focus on uh, releasing some new programming model like they introduce rap cap etc so it's now focusing on building technologies rather than uh, focusing on building ide so that was the benefit of uh, migrating to business App studio from sap uh, point of view okay okay got it yeah <laughs> I think I think if we no other issues, we'll meet tomorrow. Uh, so clear, right, Omkar? Ah, yes, sir. Clear, sir. Okay, then we'll meet tomorrow. So you can continue practicing uh, in in this uh, for subsequent classes. So both are same. So uh, if which are the your comfort, we can use it. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay thanks, Ramna. Bye.